Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 47. We have to pair pre-show matches, and we are just two shows away from the go-home NXT TakeOver Rustback, which is just about a handful of shows away from uh, NXT TakeOver Legacy 2, which is our season finale. Uh, let's get straight into it, guys. All right. In a match that had good action but non-existent crowd heat, the VOD villains defeat the leaders of the new school, Marty Scroll and Zack Sabre Jr. In eight minutes, when Aiden English defeats Marty Scroll by pinfall, will the Wilbur or Whirly Darvish, excuse me. Um, so this is just a pre-show match. Getting the VOD villains over, leaders of the new school will be featured in season three more than likely. But they're as of right now just putting workers over, as you see a lot on NXT television. We also have Maria defeating Blue Pants. This is just to try to get Maria a little bit of momentum. She has nothing. And Blue Pants is probably gone after Season 2. She's been nothing but an enhancement talent. Maybe I'll keep her around for that. But her momentum's so low, it's not really doing much for the people she's facing. And into the NXT show. The Young Bucks attack the Revival backstage and lead them down and out to open the show. So that's the Young Bucks attacking Southern Style who, remember, as of last week, will be in the main event this week against Mr. NXT, Kevin Owens, and Big Cass. The camera rose, showing Renee Young and Corey Gray welcoming the fans of the show and going over what we just saw, which was the attack on Southern Style by the Balor Club's Young Bucks. In a match of good action and average heat, Bo Dallas defeats Tyler Breeze in 13 minutes illegally by using the ropes for leverage. This was a non-title match, so the NXT Light Heavyweight Championship of Tyler Breeze was not on the line. But Bo Dallas non nonetheless gets the victory here using nefarious ways as he defeats the NXT Light Heavyweight Champion Bo Dallas, who Bo Dallas does qualify for that title, so will he get a title shot? I don't know. We now go backstage as Doc Gallus and James Storms are backstage as an argument breaks out. They're brawling with one another. A host of road agents and the staff have to pull them apart with Doc Gallus getting the upper hand on James Storm. So the Balor Club is really taking it to Southern Style. Even though they're not fighting them tonight, they're trying to weaken them for Mr. NXT, the NXT Heavyweight Champion, and Manifest Destiny's Kevin Owens and Big Cass. A video package now airs hyping Enzo Mori and his feud. Win over Big Cass of Manifest Destiny. It then hypes him entering and winning the Money in the Make match. It then hypes it then hypes him manning up and telling Mr. NXT he's cashing in an NXT TakeOver respect. Well, he will be facing him. He's also changed to a charismatic enigma gimmick, which I think suits him because he's over 90-something on charisma, I believe I saw. All right. And match has some good action, but not that much. When we heat the Lucha Dragons defeated Blake and Murphy in 13 minutes, when Kalisto defeated Blake by pinfall with a summary to Soul after distracting from the American Alpha. American Alpha distracts Blake and Murphy, gets their revenge, heading into NXT TakeOver Respect, where they will be facing off in a NXT Tag Team Championship match, which is Blake and Murphy versus American Alpha. And I'm sorry if I sound like I'm talking low. My kids are sleeping tonight, so I'm trying to do this quietly. All right, a video package near is airing, hyping Mr. NXT and all his accomplishments from his debut to his NXT Television Championship win, to his NXT Money in the Bank win, to his NXT Money in the Bank cash in victory, to his fabulous Freebridge Trios win with the Wolves, to his to defending successfully against Bo, Bo Dallas, and now his match with Enzo Amore at NXT Takeover. Respect for his NXT Heavyweight Championship. The camera pops on now, William Regal is standing in the back with a smile on his face. I know, I know, I said I just had two, but I have two matches to announce, and they are for the pre-show at NXT TakeOver Respect. The fans will also have three matches to finalize the card as well, so don't get too worried. The fans now cheer. In the pre-show, we are going to see a pair of tags. The first being Becky and Candice LeRae taking on Dana Brooke and Emma, with the second being the Lucha Dragons, the Wolves, the Kingdom, and Apollo Crews with Samoa Joe. Facing the winner of American Alpha and Blake and Murphy, the first NXT on the road to Legacy 2. So the winner of that fatal four-way tag team match will be getting a title shot in the main event of the first show on the road to NXT TakeOver um, Legacy 2, our season 2 finale. The fans share. Speaking of tag team matches, we're going to see Manifest Destiny of Kevin Owens and Big Cass take on Hideo Itami and Neville. Bayley will face Asuka for the NXT number one women's contendership with the winner facing the winner of Charlotte and Sasha at Legacy 2. And Baron Corbin will go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever with Sami Zayn. I lied. I'm not sure if it's the first time ever, but I believe so. The feed ends with the fans being extremely happy at William Regal's announcements. Now, in an extremely short match, 
Baron Corbin defeats Johnny Gargano in three minutes with the end of days. So this was a squash match victory for Baron Corbin. Just basically hyping him up and trying to build a little heat heading into his match with Sami Zayn. A music video now was shown to promote Sami Zayn. Just a little video package for Sami. The camera finds Southern style and regardless of being beat up early by the Balor Club, they are walking to the ring for the main event. Next week on NXT, we're going to see Charlotte and Asuka take on Bayley and Sasha in the main event. On the Go Home Show for NXT TakeOver Respect, we're going to see in the main event Enzo, American Alpha, and Sami Zayn take on Mr. NXT, the Blake and Murphy Factor, and Baron Corbin. Sami Zayn needs a character change. Alright, we'll do that. And in the main event, in about that featured great action and average heat, Southern Style, Storm, Dawson, and Wilder defeat NXT, Mr. NXT, Kevin Owens, and Big Cass. When James Thor defeated Big Cass by pinfall with a lone blower, Southern Style gets the much-needed victory after being taunted and beat up all show long. James Storm, Scott Dawson, and Dash Walter get the huge, huge, huge victory over Mr. NXT, Kevin Owens, and Big Cass, whose momentums are all 90-plus. So this was a very, very, very big win for Southern Style. Let's see what we got this week. It wasn't a great show, overly. Increased our popularity in eight regions. Well, all right, that's that's not too horrible. Um, NXT, anyways, this is with NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 47. Thanks for watching, and we will be posting the next show within the coming days.